Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to create a glyph, and I'm going to show you a free site where we can create that. And when I create it, I'm going to show you a trick on how to make it two color. I'm starting out in Affinity Photo here. Anything I'm doing in Affinity Photo, I can do exactly the same in Affinity Designer. But later on, toward the end, I am going to switch to Affinity Designer because you can see at that point how to take it to the next level. So let's get started. So I opened up a document and I made a square document 1024 by 1024. And I am going to go to the Shape tool and create something. I could use the Pen tool also, but I'm going to create something with the Shape tool and maybe choose a triangle and let's make it snap I have snapping turned on so here's the first triangle and I'm going to convert that to curves it's a shape right now but if you convert it to curves you can tell by the nodes you click on the node tool and there you go I can move these around if I want to but I'm not going to do that in this particular tutorial so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to duplicate that control or command J and I'm going to go arrange flip vertically so now we have this shape I'm not saying it's anything fancy but this is the shape so let's say this is what we want and the color could be changed but I'm going to take those two layers and then I'm going to go layer geometry add now in Affinity Designer they actually have an add icon on top but you can do it any way you want so layer geometry Add. and now it's all one piece it's one curve item so now see the nodes one two three four so basically it's just one curve so let's do another one now instead of a triangle let's try maybe a double star and I'll give it another color but let's just put something in here I'm holding shift and I'll give it any color so let's say this was blue it doesn't really matter in this particular time and I just uh, I'm going to keep it to the middle now I found I've had some issues sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but I think the inside graphic always needs to be touching itself so what I mean by that is I'm going to duplicate it and control or command J and bring it down and I want these two con to connect. Once in a while I worked it when it wasn't connected and sometimes it didn't work when it wasn't connected but it seemed to have always worked when I have them connected. So I am going to once again I'm clicking that and going to convert to curves on top. I'll click this one convert to curves and then I'm taking this one plus this one. I'm holding shift so I have the two selected and I'm going to do layer geometry add. So now, again, it's one piece. And I think since I have snapping turned on, I'm going to kind of bring that as much to the center as I can, and that looks right. So now we're ready to go. So I have, in fact, what I think I'll also do is I'll do document transparent background. So now we know this is all that's going to show on this wonderful, wonderful piece of graphic art. <laughs> so I'm going to select these two and do uh, file export and I will export it as an SVG and I only want to export selection without background and don't export layers hidden I don't know if I need that or not but I always seem to turn that on and then I click export and I'm going to call it I'm gonna call it DF for digitally feel so I know where it is dash let's say star logo and save it I'm saving it on my desktop after I downloaded that one now I'm going to just select this the solid one and go file export SVG selection without background and export and I'm going to call this DF star logo 2 and save so one does not have the stars in it and one does so now here's the trick now I'm going to go to this site in my browser and it's called glyphter.com g-l-y-p-h-t-e-r.com and I'm going to select the capital A I'm tapping on that and I'm going to bring in 
that logo. And now I'm going to tap it once. And right here is the logo. Now we need to find make these negative. So I'm just going to keep clicking on these until I see this box showing it negative. And there it is. So that's my first one. And I'm calling it DF Star Logo. And then I'm going to, oh, by the way, I need to name this font. So I'm going to call it right here. I'm going to call it the same thing. DF Star Logo. Save settings. So now I'm going to go to the B, capital B. And I'm going to bring that in as DF Star Logo 2. And I'm going to open that. And that's the one without anything on it. So even if you hit the little pencil, there's nothing to change. And I'm calling that DF Star Logo 2. Now remember to make sure, I'm going to check it again. My font is called DF Star Logo. So I'm going to save that. So now here's my two fonts, A and B, and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to click the download button. Now it'll, it may ask for email, password, subscribe. I'm not going to subscribe. I'm just going to download. And it's free. It's 100% free. So I am going to now open up my download folder and unzip it. And in there, I have my fonts. And they give you true type fonts, EOT, WOFF. I'm going to double click on true type fonts. Now in Mac, you just double click and it loads the font. I'm not sure in Windows if it does the same, but you should check how to load a font in Windows. So I'm going to double click that and install my font. And there it is. There's the first one. There's the second one. So now I can close that and I can close everything else. So now I'm going to just pick any new size I want. And remember, this is an affinity photo. And I'm going to do it here first and then bring it into affinity design and show you what else special you can do with it. That's just whatever text I pick. Let's, I'm going to go to my text and go A, 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 A. And then I'm going to change that font to DF, where is it? But the one I created, DF star logo. And let's give it, let's leave, let, let's give, let's leave it black. And now I'm going to duplicate that, control command J. And on the one underneath, I'm going to change that instead of A's, I'm going to do B, 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 and B. And it doesn't look like anything except I'm going to take that and make it say an amber color. So here we have fonts in two colors. You can create anything. You can make a little logo out of this and you can just basically type. And as long as you duplicate it and do right on top, that's the way it works. So now let's open up Affinity Designer because I thought this was a very cool thing you can do with it. So I'm going to open up Affinity Designer now and new document. And I don't care what size, so create. And I am going to now take the pen tool. Now the Affinity Photo doesn't allow you to do this, but I can do this and say like that and like that, right? And now I can do on this, I can take, take my font and I can call it DF, which is what I installed, DF Star Logo. And I'm going to go right on the line. And when you see the squiggly thing, I'm going to type uh, A, 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 A. And let's select it all and give it a larger type, maybe like that. So here you see that it's actually following. I can continue with that, which I think is really cool. But now, just like we did before, if I duplicate it, control or command J, and then I choose the bottom one, and I go over the bottom one, and I go B, 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 and B, and that's that one. And on that bottom one, I can change the color. Whoops, doesn't work that way in Affinity. Wait a minute. On the bottom one, I got to make sure the B is on the bottom and I can give it a color. And here you go. So here you can give it any color. So if I wanted my logo to be kind of in that kind of a green, let me give you a close up. And you can see that it follows the line. So 
if you deselect it, I think that's pretty cool. So I hope you like this little trick. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.